NCB's new CEO is trying to rebuild trust with their customers and shareholders. So how will he do it? I'm Khalil Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. Over the last year, we've talked about NCB a lot. Most of the time, it's about the stuff that customers and investors are angry about. Lack of dividends, fraud, poor customer service, ABM problems, and the list goes on and on. So naturally, when I had the company's new CEO, Robert Almeida, on taking stock recently, I had to ask him about it. I, I think we broke the, the trust when we, you know, we didn't pay dividends for a quarter and then we didn't pay dividends for two quarters and then you don't pay dividends for three quarters. And then all of a sudden it's you haven't done it for for over two years. Um, you've you've broken a trust and, and we have to earn that trust back. And I can't tell you exactly how long, but I don't think it, it's just, hey, two quarters of dividends. Uh, makes the difference. I think we have to we have to keep on delivering on what we've been doing, which is get the self governance going, uh, customer improve customer service. Customer service has been one of the top complaints about NCB, and Almeida says they've been working hard on it. Uh, there was no noise over Christmas at ABMs. That was a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure that there was no noise that that the ABMs were were good through Christmas. Um, a big focus on our part just to make sure there was no noise, not because we got accolades, but but that would restore trust. So I'm trying to make you know, people aware then says, hey, did you did you notice there was no noise through Christmas time? We, we made sure that there was cash in the machines. We made sure that things worked. Um, and uh, we have to keep doing that. This is one of the ways the new NCB boss says he plans to restore investor confidence. The other is governance. So now that you have the opportunity to lead, what is the number one thing that you want to change or fix at NCB? Uh, if I could wave a magic wand, uh, the, the number one thing would be the G in EGC. So we... Governance. Yes, absolutely. And the whole idea of, of self-governance and 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 the golden rule, do to others as you'd have them do unto you. And if I could, if everyone just thought, took personal responsibility for their, their own space. So the acronym that he mentioned, EGC, stands for Efficiency, Governance, and Customer Care. And if it sounds familiar, it's because it's one of the guiding principles that Chairman Michael Lee Chin said he'll be using for NCB going forward. Now, I've got to add here that the bar is much higher for NCB because it is the country's largest financial institution. And like the CEO was saying, it does make their mistakes more visible, but it also doesn't mean they get a free pass. Even though he was just officially given the job, Almeida has been acting as CEO for about a year now, so we should start seeing some improvements. And that's the bottom line. What are your thoughts? Have you seen any improvements in NCB since last year? Let me know in the comments. FYI, NCB stock price is up about 4% year to date. If you want to invest in NCB and other stocks but don't know how to get started, click the link up here or in the description for my Investing for Beginners course. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>